Holiday Spectacular coming in November on Next one here is going to be a Christmas Spectacular, which this I had no expectations in seeing this. I was not really looking forward to watching this all that much, but again, this was from a friend that he recommended this. He recommended I give this a shot. And ultimately, I did walk away really enjoying it. It's very entertaining for the most part. This movie was actually not so bad. The premise, obviously, I like this premise, of course. You have an heiress puts her high society wedding plans on hold in 1958 to fulfill her dream of dancing in the Radio City Music Hall Christmas Spectacular. That is about as simple as I can get because I really do think this had a lot to say in it. This is fun. And I think this movie is entertaining her. First off, the main thing I appreciate about this one is I think the concept is very sweet. It's very sweet, it's very simple, and it doesn't have to have to be boring as such. I think for what this movie is given, I thought it really knew what it wanted to be and it knew what it set out to do. It's it's a pretty entertaining little film that you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get a little movie that you know you know what you're gonna get into it and for that i thought that everything that was going on in this was very good and i'm not usually a fan of these type of movies here because as i said i have given up on tv movies like hallmark and such but when you give me something competent it can work and this did not make me into a grinch when i first saw it ignoring the fact that this is hallmark i think this is a well done christmas movie with some well choreographed dance numbers the dance numbers here are very good very beautiful very stylish very entertaining to watch and me being a sucker for dance choreography as such, I like that. I, t I admire it. I think it's very good. And I think it's very interesting that they take it into some interesting ways that you, you don't really get to see. And here, I think they really make it worth it. And they really make it worth your while. The dance is good. Direction by John Plutch and the writing by Julie Sherman Wolf is really competent here. While it's not a great story, I did have the light tone and it is very sweet. And you do understand that she wants to be a dancer, our main character here. She's very likable, very charming, very such. And I thought that overall, from a performance standpoint, everyone gave a great performance here. First off, you have Gina Clara Mason, which this is her first movie here. This is the first movie I've seen her in. She is one of the most gorgeous blondes actresses since Scarlett Johansson. And she kind of reminds me of Scarlett Johansson a bit in the face. I thought she was very good at her. I very much loved that. I also really liked our lead guy. He was very likable here. Derek Kalina as John. You also have Zara Gallo, Tiffany Denise Hobbs, Ruth Gushell, and Margaret. But it's the two leads that really sells their chemistry and really sells their emotional weight in this. And I think they both do a very strong job in what they they make this out to be. Now, is this something that's going to win Academy Awards? As I said, no, it's not. But for me personally, I did enjoy what they see and what you get here. So all the performances I think are great. I think the musical score is really good here. It definitely has that feel 
that you're gonna get. I also think that this the cinematography wise and all the beautiful dancing rockets here are very good so even though i've never got to see the rockets in person you get to see them here and the dancing here is very good and i did get sentimental here too here a lot here i don't like i say i'll be honest with a lot of movies i don't cry a lot i like to sit there and feel sad or be emotional but there is rarely a few movies where i do cry i do have a heart though but cinematography wise i think it's very good in this i also can very much love the editing here and the pacing here so Overall, I do think that the performances here are solid. They're not amazing by any means necessary, but I do like a lot of the lot of the emotional beats. And while I don't think this movie is perfect, I do think this is a very genuine Christmas movie. So if you have hallmark or such i will say check this out because i definitely quite enjoyed this and this this was actually really competent so for that i definitely have to give this movie a highest recommendation because this was actually really good in this movie this was actually very it was better than what i hoped it to be and I will give this a stream it. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. I will have my channel here. So you would like to see anything here. Click the channel icon. Subscribe for more. I will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here. So in case you want to see what I'm about. As always, stay up assassinist. Join the assassinist. And you guys, keep it cool.